Hello. <laughs> I have a big freaking smile on my face because I can't wait to change into a diaper. <laughs> and I've been staring at this bag for the last couple days just wanting to dig into it really bad. So, the ABDL shop launched something new and so far we've only had carousels from them. So to get a new diaper, I just have always been so curious when I heard that new products were coming, what those products were gonna be and if it meant more printed diapers or what we were gonna see from them. And I'm hyped, it's an all white diaper. I think the coolest part about a brand coming out with like a plain white diaper is this isn't just the shell of a carousel without the print. Cause I don't know, it makes sense as to why companies do that, but I thought it was really cool that they went all out making a plain white diaper that I'm obsessed with. There's a lot of details in here that are really exciting. I've already seen some memes online about how much they hold because they hold <laughs> 9,500 milliliters. Like that is a lot. <laughs> The absorbency of these guys is supposed to be even better than Mega Max's, and I actually saw a little Babe Cakes post on her story, and these were even thicker than Mega Max's. So I'm gonna grab one of those so I can show the difference, because I want to show a Rears Inspire, this guy, and a Mega Max, and kind of tell you why I'm really excited and think this is truly going to be the new go to all white diaper for me. Um, my friends have nicknamed me Puddle Pants. I'm known for leaking. I've had friends' houses that I go over to and they <laughs> will get like a puppy pad and sit on the couch because I've leaked on their furniture multiple times. Like, I just put diapers to their limit. That's the fun part though. Oh my gosh. So. white diaper a medium let's see they are supposed to be comfort for day or night use they are supposed to be really good for odors I noticed that it wasn't as stinky as things can be especially with cloth like cloth doesn't wick up anything so you really can just smell it with these it just kept absorbing wicking super fast and I didn't really notice a smell a very slight one but for how long I wore this I should have been so like foul by that point because I wore it an entire day. Like flooded it, did fine. Like just put it to the test and really liked it. They told me how the plastic on these was gonna be very soft and oh my God, they're really soft. As in, I got some vintage diapers from the 90s including some Attends and vintage Depends from like 1990 and the plastic is close to being soft like that, like a vintage diaper. So I think if you have hardcore diaper nostalgia and you really like plastic, you're gonna get it here. And I still have like this crinkle, but I like how soft the crinkle sound is. Of course you got like your classic standard like clear little blue tapes. Blue core in here. The leap guard on here is super tall and I like all the elastic for the little leg gathers. The thing I also noticed once again, cause I, you know, I was peeping around and everyone was talking about these and how the wing is cut fits so well. The other weird detail, I'm just gonna ramble about how much I like these. I'm just gonna tell you as I look at these and remember how good my experience was that I like that there is a front gather. I typically wear small, so when something has that elastic on the front and back and it's like super elasticy. I always get a better fit. And the other thing that I noticed is these are cut much higher. So if you have thicker thighs, or even if you're just kind of petite, cause that's just me, um, five, four, and I normally wear smalls. I noticed that like this little bottom part when it doesn't really fit me will bunch up and then just kind of be uncomfortable sometimes, especially if it's really thick plastic right here. But the back of this is like this soft little cloth. I noticed it when I put it on that it just felt so soft in the areas where I normally can feel kind of bothered or where the plastic can feel kind of stiff. This almost felt like a little cloth back inside, but still plastic on the outside. And the whole, uh, they're just good. 
<laughs> like really good. So I feel like they're so worth a try. One, because you gotta touch them. I just want everybody to touch them <laughs> and touch the plastic. I kept touching it and as I wore and used it, it had the best swell. I don't know how important this is to some people, but some diapers get really heavy in the middle, especially as a female who wears diapers, it all goes towards the center. And this one actually wicked really evenly all over. So by the time I was done with a full day, I had like the cutest little squishy diaper bottom. <laughs> Instead of like a sad droop and a ton of dry fluff, like all everywhere else. I've definitely had that where if I flood, it's all going in that one spot and I'll literally feel it pulling and like wet, like where I can move and hear it sloshing because I went faster than it could wick it up. And I noticed that with quite a few diapers, but I didn't have that issue with these. So, especially if anybody's watching this and just wondering like how they fit me, I'm gonna try this guy on really quick and we're gonna keep talking about it because, mm. <laughs> Okay, so. I still like how tall these are, like, front and back. So, see what I mean by that cut? Like, I can wrap it without it going all the way over here. Which, I appreciate. My little top tape thing that I do if a diaper's like a little bit too big is I make this dart. I don't know if you could see what I did, but basically I take this top part, I fold it down, and then I make a little dart. I go down and over, and it just creates a better fit so my tapes don't overlap. So I'll do it on this side. I push this one down. I make like a little triangle accordion dart. And that <laughs> is my favorite way to get a medium snug in the waist on the top. So this is how they fit to me. <laughs> Tuck my little wings. <laughs> Hiccup a little out of excitement. And they're very wide down here, but how tall the leak guards are, like you can see as soon as I lifted that all of this is still perfectly covered. There's just a little overlap, which is why I think it made such a cute little shape upon using them. And then the plastic, like I said, I just can't stop touching it. It is so soft. <laughs> like ridiculously soft. Here it is. I thought I would show the difference. So here is a trust, fresh out the bag. This is an Inspire that's been opened. Like it's been sitting and collecting air for like months. This is fresh out of the bag. And the fact that, yeah, like this is this diaper all condensed and as flat as it's probably gonna get. And this is one that's just been, like we all know what happens. Like look at this Mega Max. <laughs> insane the thickness so sometimes I have this issue with plastic on diapers like I'm trying not to throw shade but it's my review and I get to be honest I literally stopped purchasing from Tyka Bowls because they did the tough toddler plastic and I don't like how rough it felt it reminds me of like a party tablecloth and for me, like, that touch is so important and that stiffness just, I couldn't even sleep in it. Like, kept waking up. I've never really woken up from a diaper, so if the plastic, now I check and there are certain things I don't like to wear to bed if they start out kind of stiff. So, my go-to for a really long time has been the White Rears Inspire. And I think that the plastic and the crinkle on these is pretty nice. 
but something about this is just like silky smooth. <laughs> and then Mega Max's, they're just really compact. Like you can hear it. doesn't happen. <laughs> you can hear the difference. Another detail that I really like about these is that they do come kind of like fluffy and how soft the inside is. I still remember even when carousels first came out, like how we all just talked about how soft the insides were. And that got me. I wanted to try and be like a Mega Max girl. I just can't do it. <laughs> I have an issue. I love plain white diapers and for the longest time the only one has just been the Inspire and I've been like, oh, yeah, okay. And then a lot of people really like these. I have an issue with this branding. I don't like the branding on it. As time goes on, I start to appreciate just an all white diaper more and more. When I first started wearing it, I loved prints and it kind of hid the fact that it was like a diaper, but something about just a plain white design is so good. And then I love the little squiggles on the back of carousels. So I genuinely feel like I could wear carousels, I could wear these and just wear this brand, especially because Amazon Prime shipping is so nice and always discreet because I've had some disasters with getting diapers delivered and it says it and it's awkward. So <laughs> the fact that I'm like, I could wear a really cute pastel diaper and now I could wear an all white diaper that gives me vintage diaper feels because of the plastic and a lot of other little details. I just, mm. I just wanted to take a second and talk about these diapers and what I like about them. They already had sold out on day one and were being restocked. By the time you see this, they're probably already going to be restocked. But I'm excited to see what everybody else starts to think and feel about these. I just feel like it's been a while that I've been so excited for an entirely new diaper. Like if I get an all white diaper from another brand, I know it's gonna be a shell and I know what I'm getting and that's cool and fun that it's familiar, but it's not often that you get to try a new diaper that has absorbency like this so it's like begging to be put to the test as well as a different type of plastic a different type of cut front and back elastics it's just something fun and new to try like add it to your stash and see if it becomes your new go-to babyish white diaper or i just like to wear diapers not always as something super baby so and I just want to wear diapers to wear diapers. I love an all white diaper. So you're going to see me in these a lot. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to it. If you have tried them, what did you think? I want to know. I love talking and geeking over diaper details. So if someone wants to message me and say like how they felt about it or how they like the cut or fit or how it swelled, let me know because I could just talk about these all day. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so I thought for fun, let's get into all the details that make this diaper so cool with a little bit of B-roll.